A lock system. They can come here by boat regardless of the tide. Smart. Come on, man. You get in there, find a computer to upload that virus to, and get out. You got this. Come on, Lewis. Get a hold of yourself. Something else on the ceiling. That's weird. I see some marker, but you can barely make it out. They're worried about high tides. Saul. We're here, but I don't see Iverson. Where the hell is she? I thought she was supposed to get here first. She should be there soon. She'd better. I'm sorry, Saul. An electronic lock with the code. Rafa could help me unlock it. Rafa, are you there? What do you want? There's some kind of lock that's stopping me. A big box with buttons. Looks electronic. Any ideas? <sighs> there should be a ring on it. See it? Push a little piece of metal under it. It's an old system. These things are easy to short circuit. Anything else? That should do it. Thanks. Over. Piece of metal. That should do the trick. Yeah, that was easy. When you know how to do it. It works with the chip. I can't open it. Oh well. There's got to be another one. This is a waste of my time. This is a waste of my time.
This is a waste of my time. MM. I hear you, Saul. They know we're here. We managed to hide, but we're not gonna hold out long. Where are you? Inside, South Wing, or West. Fuck, I don't know. Where is Iverson? She's on her way. I just radioed her. She's coming. Tell her to move her ass! This is a waste of my time. Did you hear Somebody's that? down there. Yeah, I see. Easy does it. Stay behind. A question. I have orders not to leave this office. Then stay here. Sir, please, the blank body was captured. Stanford is interrogating it now. Could attack her to get rid of her. Under control. But she's not alone. Right. Fine, I'll go with you. There's no need. I could upload I the program to this own. computer. You stay here. But you. I can't do anything as long as you are here. This is a waste of my time. What's he doing? What have we here? Why isn't it working? I told you I wouldn't be long. Not a word. <clears throat> Thor! Jeez. You've... You're one of them, aren't you? The blank body. What do you want? I need to put something on your computer. I tried accessing your network, but it's not working. Why not? I... I don't know. Don't play that game with me. But it's the truth. If you're of no use to me, then there's no point in keeping you alive. What? No! All right! All right! I can help you. Just don't hurt me. I'm listening. Why are you doing this? It's better you didn't know. <sighs> Listen, it's simple. You need to go all the way down to the server room. That's the only way to spread your... thing. Tell me how to get there. You need to take the intelligence elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? Sorry, but I can't take that risk. What? But you said... What can I say? I lied. It's not the first time. I'm going to 
of one. This is Hogan. We've just entered the administration wing. What's your status? Uniform day comes. Hurry up! Copy that. November is already on the way. Go, go, go! to uniform. Coming your way. This is a waste of my time. This is a waste of my time. This is a waste of my time. I'm almost there. The elevator should be around here somewhere. This is a waste of my time. Shit! Elevator! Now I just need to take care of the guard. Bruin, I'm in the hall. No matter what happens, don't leave L4. Roger that. I've got the elevator. Nothing will happen to you. But your men, they're... Just focus on what locked. you're doing. We need to know and if our systems have been compromised or not. I can't well, I'm working on it. We'll stay in contact. Call me if you have any problems. Roger that. Got everything you need? I should be fine. Just try and stay out of my way. Just following orders. Do you think it will take long? We'll see. Shit! Nothing. Must be broken. What's that sound? Probably the fans. Sometimes the cleaning system comes on at night. Mm-hmm. Well, keep doing what you're doing. Again? Are you sure that's normal? Yeah, I, I think so. I'll be right back. Seriously? Rather be sure. I'm 
almost there. Hogan, you can come back. I'm almost done. Hogan, how's it going? Hogan? Oh, They're shit. They're monitoring all communications. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. The was right to outlaw phones. Okay, <clears throat> calm down, Sam. It's gonna be all right. You're safe. Focus. No need. I can manage without it. This looks like a departure. The last one. She was trying to recover the data. They know I tried to hack them. Looks like SAD has its share of agitators. That's good for us. actively hunting us. That kind of bullshit is exactly why Hazel outlawed phones. themselves as heroes. Her 
personality disorders. Maybe a child of Malkov? Better keep that safe. But the coast looks clear. The coast looks clear. Better keep that safe. Come on, hurry up. That was pretty clever. I'll give you that. What? I warned Saul to watch her back, but she trusted you. You bitch. I was following orders. I didn't want- Go fuck yourself! You fucked everything up. Remote lances? Better not play with that. Never be too careful. This is their server room? I don't see them. They use the water from the bay to cool the servers. That's clever. Two-person activation required? No way. I've got to find a way to do it alone. Two-person activation. Time before the second button is activated. Five seconds. That's not much time.
through the unlocking system. There are pop torches in the warehouse. Go get them, quick! Wait right away, Sergeant! Please, let it work this time. Of course. Do you have the torches? I have to sir. find the password. Good, come through this door, now! I can't fail now. the Corvus. Tell me! Go fuck yourself. <laughs> he betrayed you. Why protect him? It's not her. I'm protecting. Her? Interesting. Who is she? It's time. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
hell out of here now. I wanted to thank you. Everything ended well, thanks to you. It's not over yet. You're right. But I won't forget what you did on Long Island, and I wanted to make sure you knew it. Did you have any trouble getting back to Boston? The hound you unleashed made things a lot easier. I was nothing next to him. I got off easier than you did. I'll recover. <laughs> As always. Now that we're both safely free of that mess, I have a question for you. It's about Fang. Are you really that interested in her? It would be a lie to pretend otherwise. She would be a precious asset for my business. I know you didn't plan for things to go like this, and it would be legitimate for you to get rid of her now. But think of everything she's worth, the things she could do. What are we going to do with her? My plans for her haven't changed. It's high time she became one of us. As you wish. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, not at all. You've come at just the right time. We'll be done in just a moment. I'm relieved to see you back here, Caleb. <laughs> you don't know him as well as I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so surprised. He's the reason we're all still standing here tonight. I would have liked to tear Stanford apart myself. Now we can focus on the future. What do you have in mind? We need to recover from this attack and make sure it won't happen again. We'll have our hands full. Ah, who knows? Maybe we'll have ourselves a good old witch hunt or a turf war. For someone who knows how to manipulate their pawns, it's the perfect way to increase their influence. It sounds like you've got it all planned out. Oh, nothing set in stone yet, but I see new opportunities that are going to take shape, and I'm not going to sit idly by and watch them slip away. You're the one who taught me that. Have you forgotten? That was long ago. Many things have changed since then. So, you're still part of this world? That's not for you to decide. You still have a part to play, my dear sire. It's up to you to choose whether you'll be sitting in the front row or standing in the back. What are you planning to do now? I 
can't leave the court. It is my duty to stay and help the prince. <laughs> you haven't changed. We'll see about that. Ma'am, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... Oh, are you alright? You're not hurt? No. You're all worked up over nothing. I'm fine. Not over nothing. It was a suicide mission. I know. The Anarchs didn't make it out. What are you talking about? Randall Thane, the Anarchs. They helped me on Long Island, but they were all destroyed. You're back. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's important and personal. Are you coming? Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. I don't want anything from you. Excuse me? Jara Drory. She was there, you know. She told them everything. Everything. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. It's been a long night. You should get some rest. I know what you did! You and Drory, you sold your asses to the humans. You wanted to wipe us out. You gave them everything about Hazel, the council, the whole fucking court. And then you threw your accomplice under the bus. You really have no fucking honor. You disgust me. M.M. And what for? Power? Were you planning to rule Boston? Is that why you got rid of Jara? You wanted to keep the throne all to yourself? You don't understand. It was a necessary sacrifice. You know what I mean. You did the same thing to those Anarchs. That was different. It's true. What I did, I did for you. For us. You got some fucking nerve. I had a debt. The SI. My back was up against the wall. I had to do something. Oh. And for Jara too? You had to do something? She wanted to destroy you. I'm protecting you, ma'am, like I've been doing since the very beginning. What debt are you talking about? I'd rather not talk about it. Believe me, the less you know, the better. No! No! I've had enough of your bullshit. You're going to own up to what you've done. Oh. Do you remember when we first came to Boston? You know very well that I've lost some of my memories. You're right. I'm sorry. It all goes back to 1940. It was during World War II. France had surrendered, and Quentin King refused our request for asylum. You were afraid. So I asked the London court for help. They agreed to help me with King. On one condition. My eternal loyalty. They didn't ask much. They even left me alone for 80 years. What happened? Then, London fell. 
The last bastion of the British Camarilla. Now that it's gone, they're going to need a new domain. They ordered me to prepare it for them. They're coming. There are cities up and down the coast. Why did it have to be Boston? It was one of the first British colonies. The English kindred lived here for a long time. You know that. You knew a few of them well. Yes, I remember. Even if the elders aren't here anymore, there's still a sizable British presence in Boston. But they're in hiding. There's nothing more to say. Boston's got all the makings of the ideal haven. History. Contacts. That's it. Did Jara know? Forget about Jara. She doesn't deserve your pity. She already made me waste too much time. Listen to me. Things are going to change in Boston now, and fast. Hazel will fall, as will all those who support her. What? Are you planning to destroy everyone? Not me. No. Your British friends. All that for a goddamn throne. You know me better than that. Honestly, I don't think I do. I don't care about Boston. I know you have questions, and I know you don't believe me. But you have to trust me. Let the storm pass over, Mem. Nothing will happen to you. You want me to betray Hazel? You don't owe her anything. What kind of storm? The kind that will wipe out this city. But I can protect you. I can give us a fresh start. Do you trust me? Don't fuck me over. Never. All right. I should go see Hazel. I know. I'll meet up with you later. Ma'am, thank you. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. The mortals were unable to break us thanks to our resilience. We never doubted our superiority over those weak creatures for a moment. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. We had to establish new agreements, forge new alliances, because this is how we strengthen our kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. With powerful friends by our side, we will no longer be faced with those terrible moments when our dominion was challenged. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains, our supremacy. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them 
the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow.